Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. That's right. It's just about to start. This crazy offseason, teams are going to be making moves, and this one, I think, is going to be a very busy offseason. If you haven't hit that like or subscribe, please do so. Still a new YouTuber in a lot of ways. The best way you could help somebody like me out is by hitting that like and subscribe. And I give away prizes to subscribers just to say thank you for watching and subscribing. So you're going to get in on that. And I got one coming up soon. So that's right. I'm talking about the MLB offseason. My favorite time of the year. I love the energy. I love the trades. And what's Toronto going to do? Well, this is a quick vlog. Not much. That's right. We're going to go into what Toronto will do a little bit more in upcoming vlogs. But the short and sweet of it is Toronto is going to make small moves comparable to what they did on this offseason by adding some relievers. Maybe some players like Brandon Belt, Kevin Kiermeyer. I'm not suggesting Belt or Kiermeyer. I think Kiermeyer is going to get a multi-year contract and ultimately walk from Toronto. But players like that, people just to add to the mix and hopefully get the Jays maybe a little bit deeper into the postseason. And they're really going to be counting on players like Vladimir Guerrero, Alejandro Kirk to rebound and praying for good health out of their starting pitching. Boy, their pitching was good this year. And it's going to be really hard to replicate that next. But because they signed Bo Bichette to that arbitration deal where they signed him through his arbitration years, Bo Bichette's going to walk and be a free agent. And with Vladdy having an off year, there's no extension that's going to happen there. So the Jays are definitely looking at a rebuild soon. Yeah, I know, but it's what we have to do. Think about it. We've been competitive since 2020, so we knew this would eventually be coming. And in doing so, Toronto doesn't want to handcuff them to major contracts like they did with George Springer back when that competitive window was just opening up in 2021. No, it's not happening. As I said, it's going to be small pieces, just like they did in this offseason. So kind of a sleeper for Toronto, but let's just hope that 2024 is the year that we can get things done and the team that we have in place can actually play like a superstar team they should be. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always appreciate to hear what you have to say. Hit that like and subscribe so you can get on on the prizes and appreciate your support. And we'll ramble on soon. Take care, guys.